Okay, real quick while I'm at this red light, good morning. Welcome back. Do you hear my blinker right now? That's probably so annoying. Um, I just realized that I think I start all of my vlogs in my car. But that's what we're doing today. We're vlogging. Um, basically, just my day. I don't have like a crazy amount of stuff to do today. I want to go to Trader Joe's. I want to get Spencer like a Valentine's Day present. We usually just do something really small so i'm gonna get him like a card and like some candy or something and then um i need to film today i need to film a makeup video and i need to edit i need to upload basically just like a chill hanging out with me style day that's what we're doing today running errands what's new for my vlogs <laughs> um, and that's that so here we go first stop though coffee always secured the goods okay ew gross you guys it's fucking cold outside right now it is so cold Is it crazy to anyone else that there's literally swimsuits out in February? OMG. The way to my heart. Stop. I cannot buy that for myself, but it's so cute. Okay. Little OOTD. I'm just wearing my Fila sneakers and then these full leather leggings, a little crop tee, and this jacket. Does anyone else just pile up everything on their passenger seat? Like... I don't know why I didn't want to throw it in the back seat or the trunk. It's just like easier for me to throw it in my passenger seat. Remember how I told you guys I only needed like four things from Trader Joe's? Literally a whole bag later. Hi. So I am home. If you hear like a weird, any weird like construction -y noises, the building behind my house, I know I've complained about this before. They have been like rebuilding it for like two years now. Like I don't understand what's taking them so long. So let's do just like a mini, let me show you what I got at Trader Joe's. Some raspberries, cause of death. I got this uh, coconut whipped topping. I've been wanting to try this mainly for, let me grab. I grabbed some cold brews. Spencer and I have been on this like super cold brew kick recently. So I got the Trader Joe's organic cold brew, like the cold one. And then I got this uh, cold brew concentrate, which is like a French roast. So when you get a cold brew at Starbucks, they basically just give you the cold brew with like heavy cream on top. And Spencer and I have been just like obsessed with cold brew. Like we can't stop drinking it, but we want to be able to make it at home and make it with like not heavy cream. So I'm wondering if this coconut whipped cream will like kind of worked the same so I'm excited to try that out I literally and I do this every time I always grab way more stuff than I need um just some sugar snap peas because those are delicious omg these chips right here these are the white truffle potato chips if you like truffle like truffle oil or like truffles these legit taste like they're so strong i'm not gonna lie like these are the type of chips you can only have like a tiny little handful of because they're so like bam truffle flavor and they're really like oily too so i feel like if you ate a lot it would kind of make you sick but these are like the perfect chips for when i'm like i just want a few chips with like a sandwich or whatever they're so delicious i love truffles so much um let me be a little bit quicker about this i got this this stuff is fucking bomb. This is their uh, vegan pesto. I got some pico de gallo. Yum. Um, uh, these things are like my freaking rip tonight. 
These are the sweet and spicy pecans. I literally got three. I got three of them. They are so delicious, but they are like deadly because they're so good. I can eat like easily this whole bag of them in one day. And that's literally like a thousand calories. Like it's over a thousand calories. Let me see. Yeah, this is over a thousand calories. I mean, nuts are really high in calorie, but they also have like sugar on them. And I have to hide these from myself because they're so delicious that I will eat the whole entire bag in one sitting. What else did I get? It's kind of like boring stuff. I got these Scandinavian swimmers. They're like Swedish fish, but they're in different flavors. Spencer loves these candies. He always gets them when we go to Trader Joe's. Um, more cold brew, peanut butter. Um, oh, I got this. I've been really wanting to try stevia. I have agave that I use and I have some like organic vanilla syrup, but I'm really curious about stevia, especially like in coffee. So I got this little one in a little dabber. Honestly, the reason why I got this one in a dabber versus like a powder or anything is because I watch Alicia Marie's vlog and she's always using like the little stevia with the dabber in her coffee. So I was like, I need the little, you know, thing for my coffee. Uh, oh, I got these, which I was pretty excited about. My sunglasses. Um, just some shots. So I got a turmeric shot and a ginger shot. These are really good for if you like feel like you're starting to get sick or if you're feeling really low energy and you just need like a little bit of something, like take one of those and it's like zing, you know? And I grabbed these because they looked tasty. Just some vegan chocolate chip cookies. What is life? Oh, I got one last thing. I got these Pop-Tarts because I love Pop-Tarts. And that was my mini grocery haul. Do you guys want to see what I got from Target too? Actually, you know what? Let me put away all these groceries and then we'll go sit in front of my slider and I'll show you guys what I got from Target. Okay, we're on the floor, which I feel like is kind of like my official, unofficial mini haul spot. Yes, no. Okay, I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I got from Target for Spencer's like Valentine's Day presents. So I got this little... It's cute, you know, just like a little bag just to throw everything in. I got this card. <sighs> Fact about me, I love greeting cards. Like, I expect a card on my birthday. I expect a card on anniversaries. Like, I have literally saved every card I've ever gotten my whole entire life. I have a shoebox, literally, that's filled with cards, which now that I'm older is, like, something that I'm really, really happy that I did when I was younger. Like, when I was younger, I think that I just kept them because I felt like I had to because it was a gift but then when I got older I realized that I really love it because it's so nice to go back and like read what people wrote to you and look at the cards and the memories and especially now that um my mom is passed it's so nice too to even have like all these old birthday cards from her and like a card for my graduation and stuff like that so it's just like really nice and Spencer is so not a card person but I am and so I always get him cards and he always gets me cards and I save them random little greeting card story but so I got him this one and the, here's the thing about them they don't always have to be serious like I don't want you to think me saying that I love greeting cards means that they need to always be serious and heartfelt like you can literally get me one that just says like thinking of you and then you put like love you and that's it and that'll be like more than enough to me it's like kind of just like the thought like I think my love language is gifts because I love giving gifts and I love receiving gifts but it could be like you saw a candy bar at the store and thought of me or a pen or like something so small and just like the thought of it is what kind of gets me. So whatever. I need to stop talking about it. So I got Spencer this card. Look how cute it is. It's like a couple in space. They're like on rockets and it shows them like getting on a rocket, landing on a planet and then coming back home and like look at this part. It's so cute. It's like they park their rocket in their house. That's so cute. And it says, I love you to Jupiter and back. The moon is for amateurs. It is just so cute. It's like the perfect little Valentine's Day card. I'll literally just write like, love you, whatever. Okay. Then I got this little tissue paper. It was only like a dollar. So I felt like I had to get it and it matched the bag. Like, come on, come on. Okay. So let's dive into the goods. I actually got myself a few things too but I'll show those at the end. So for Spencer's little thing, like I said, I literally only ever get him candy. Um, so I'm gonna be kind of quick about it. So 
So, like I said, I usually only ever get him candy because I'm like, it's Valentine's Day. Like, it's just about something sweet. So I got him like this little Skittles thing with a heart on it. I cannot stand Skittles, but he just the other day was like, I think Skittles are my favorite candy of all time. And I'm like, ugh, Skittles, really? Whatever. I got him some sour Jolly Rancher gummies, also not my style. Spencer and me have like completely different candy styles. Like I'm a chocolate girl. Like I want chocolate everything. Like fruity candy is good, but 99% of the time I want chocolate. And he is the exact opposite. 99% of the time he wants fruity candy and the rest of the time he doesn't. Like these are like some of the only chocolates that he likes are these uh, Andy's mints. And I thought these ones were cute because, whoop, because they say uh, be my Valentine on them. And then I got him some little trolley sour hearts. And then I got these for him. I actually uh, just kind of tried this brand of candies for the first time. They're called Smart Sweets. And I believe it's because they are completely plant-based and they're like really low in sugar. So these only have three grams of sugar in them and they're like Sour Patch Kids. They're called Sour Blast Buddies. Uh, we've had the Swedish Fish ones and we've had the Peach Ring ones. The Peach Rings were way too sour for me and the Swedish Fish ones were really good. So I got him these sour ones because I think that he'll like it. And that's it. Literally, I'm just going to put everything in this bag. Boom. I'll fill out the card. And then I'll do the paper later. I'm too lazy to do it right now. But then, this is like the perfect little Valentine's Day gift. Let's look at what I got for myself. I got myself a few tops. Because I just can't resist the Target clothing. I don't know what it is. It's so affordable and it's like so just like cute and easy. Um, I got this bodysuit, which I got it in a size too big because I didn't have my size. But I was also thinking like with bodysuits, I don't know what it is. I'm not that tall. I'm only five foot five, but I have a really long torso. So usually with bodysuits, like they're going like up my crotch, not to be graphic, but that's just the way it is. So I like to order them like a size bigger and then they'll just be like a little baggy, but that's totally fine. This is a really cute kind of like an olivey green bodysuit and it has like that nice lace on it. And then I got this t-shirt here. So cute. It says Shroot Farms Bed and Breakfast. If you know the office, then you know. I'll probably cut this into a crop if I'm gonna be completely honest because I tend to like to wear just like regular t-shirts, either really big or crop size. Um, I got this t-shirt, which I already have, okay? I have this t-shirt, but I've had it for a few years now, so I was actually surprised that they still had it, and I've torn it up. Like, it does not look good anymore. I don't know what I did to it, but it is like a hot mess, so I rebought it. I just think this is like the cutest t-shirt ever. It has like all these different flowers on it. And whenever I wear the other one, I always get so many compliments. So I had to buy it again because I just love it. And then I got these tops right here, which are really cute for spring coming up. It's like an off the shoulder kind of frilly, pretty. God, it's hard to like see when I put it like that, but it's like an off the shoulder top. The sleeves are really pretty. They're kind of that like sheer see-through and it has like a floral pattern on it. And then this is like more of like a cinched type of body part super cute and then i actually got literally the same shirt but it's just in like a different color pattern this one is in green and the flowers on it are a little bit different real this is like the perfect top to just throw on with a pair of skinny jeans and like a little pair of heels or a pair of like cute white sneakers and then you look like a little bit more dressed up but super cute and honestly it feels really comfortable it has like a nice elastic in the arms and then I got one more thing. I went into the makeup aisle and I got this Pixi uh, Naturel lip. It's like a new lipstick. I didn't know that Pixi came out with new lipsticks. So let's open her up. Oh, cool. It's like in cardboard. That's interesting. So it's like in cardboard. Honestly, and I'm not saying this in a way to be offensive. I'm literally just saying this because this is what it looks like to me. It reminds me of like a cardboard tampon applicator like that's what it feels like and kind of what it looks like and then the lipstick is on the inside it's a little bit more uh red actually than it is advertised like look at the color this is the color on the packaging it looks just like a really nice kind of peachy nude color and then this is the actual 
lipstick. Hmm. A little bit more red than I was expecting, but I'm still excited to try it. I think it is kind of funny, though, that they really, like, did that cardboard, cardboard kind of feel on the outside, but it's still plastic on the inside. Does it say anything about that on here? No. Okay, well... That is all I got for Target. I need to get ready to film because I need to film a makeup look today. Um, I need to upload. I need to do a little bit of editing. So I'm going to go get ready to film my video. I need to get ready for that. So I'll take you guys along with me to my office to kind of show you how I get stuff ready to start a video. So let's go do that. We're back in my office. I need to pull stuff out and get ready for my video so i know exactly what video i'm gonna film today i just need to pull all my products out get my lighting and stuff like that set up and that's that so let's start pulling products out okay so for today's video i'm actually doing a first time review of the new makeup geek uh matrix eyeshadows i've actually never even used a makeup geek eyeshadow before so it's going to be kind of like a double first impressions thing. So I'm really just doing an eyeshadow look. So I need to pull out everything else that I need. So I'm not that sure. Let's grab a primer. I think I want to use this guy. I used this for the first time in a full face of e.l.f. makeup and I really liked it. Let's get in here. Do I want to wear a foundation today? Yeah, let me just grab my tried and true concealer. Don't look at that. That's disgusting. I'm going to get this Hourglass Concealer. I've been really, really liking this. Okay, let's grab some powder. Bronzer. What do I want to bronze with today? Let's use... Let's go in with my Fenty bronzers. Blush. Should I use a Makeup Geek? blush yeah i'm gonna use this makeup geek blush i've used their blushes before uh but this is just like a new shade this is in summer fling it's like a peachy color um oh highlighter same drawer okay and then a highlight for highlight today let's use <laughs> let's use i'm gonna use this guy i used this one for the first time on my channel the other day i mean look how pretty that packaging is this is the ether beauty highlighter <sighs> my nails are never painted and of course the one time they are painted they're like so chipped and gross open look at this so so pretty okay so most of my products are out this is the camera i just need to set it up on that tripod um, I'm going to do my brows off camera like usual. Let me grab a mascara. Let's do the new Fenty mascara. And then I'll need a lip product, but um, I usually don't pull that out. I just decide kind of at the end what lip I want to do. So I need to organize that a little bit more. Let's get this jacket out of the way. Toss. Okay, so then I have to pull these out these are like my light boards like it's literally just like two pieces of insulation um that i have just on like a stand here and i kind of put them let me show you okay so what i do is so i sit right here camera goes right here and then i have boom board boom board on either side of me and what that does is it helps kind of like hold in the light and bounce the light off and up on my face same with this like uh board right here it's just the same as one of these guys but i just cut it smaller so this one helps bounce the light up and put it like under my chin and under my eyes so now i just have to move my lights connect my camera to that and that's pretty much it random but if you are ever curious of what kind of plants i got going in my office i have this guy which look at it has two little babies excuse me two little babies growing on it this has like literally a hundred different names to it this plant I've seen it called a Chinese money plant a UFO plant I usually call it a UFO plant because I love aliens and so that's what I call it 
I have this guy up here, which I'm really trying to bring back to life. He's been in a few different rooms in our house, but I think this one is kind of doing the best for him. This is a silver leaf pathos, I believe. Then I have this, which is honestly one of my most prized plants. This is called a corn palm tree. It's one of my all-time favorite plants we have in the house, but it has like some serious issues with the cold. It does way better in the summer. In the winter, you tend to get some little dead leaves and stuff like that, mainly because of like temperatures. So then lastly, I have this guy here. This is one of my many spider plants. All of the spider plants in my house have actually come off of one plant that I have in my living room. These are all the babies on this guy. Like I can cut any of these off and these will make their own plant right now, but I kind of like the way it looks with them hanging on there. And that's it. Those are my office plants. If you were ever curious, I am like a huge, huge plant person. There's literally multiple plants in every single room in my house. So if you guys are ever interested in like a plant video where I just tell you about my house plants, I know that's like probably boring to a lot of people but to me it's really interesting so if you're ever interested in that let me know and I'll walk you around my house and show you all my different house plants but I need to change and I need to film I'm procrastinating right now because I don't know why like once I sit down to start filming it's easy street like I have no problem with it but usually beforehand I always am like oh I need to do this I need to do that putting it off putting it off putting it off so I need to change And then I'll film. Okay, so I just got done filming this makeup look. Cute, huh? Okay, guys, so Spencer just got home and he wants a cup of coffee, so I'm gonna try to make him a cold brew from the cold brew that I just got at Trader Joe's, so. Okay, so I went on Google and I looked up how Starbucks does their Irish cream cold brew because that's the one that we get the most often. And obviously I don't have like Irish cream syrup, but I'm gonna try like the same thing, but with vanilla. So it says they do two pumps of the Irish cream for a grande. Okay, this is the organic cold brew, but this one says it's nitrogen infused, isn't that cool? It says open, pull hard to activate nitro. Tip bottle vertically and pour into a cup. Is it vertically this way? How do you tip vertically? I don't know. That doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, I think just pour. I think it, no, pour. it says tip bottom bottle vertically and pour into a cup. Yeah. It smells good. It smells just like coffee, though. I always think every bottle of coffee I buy smells good, and then when I taste them, I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. Oh, I should have put ice in already. This one isn't concentrate, though, so... Do you want more than that? No. I think it's nice. Okay, and then they put on top the vanilla sweet cream, which I think is just heavy cream that's like blended halfway into whipped cream. So I got this coconut whipped cream. You want some in your mouth? I'll hear it. Mm. How is it? Mm, good. I want some too. I want some I got on my eyeball. Okay, that's really good, okay. Very coconutty, mm -hmm. but like in a real way, not a fake way. Mm -hmm. Cute. Well, I figured you needed a little bit more of this because it's less liquidy. More air. That's cute. That looks like we're in a soda pop shop or something. Where people say soda pop. Okay, now you have to try it. I don't know how you're going to stir it up, though. <laughs> Should I put it in a bigger cup? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix it up though, is that cool? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's on the inside. Yeah, it's starting to get that like pretty coffee color. Okay, what do you think? Good or bad? I think it's good. It's good? I think it's good. So I did a good job? Let yeah. me try it. Well, I guess it's not really as much me as Change all of this. the brands. <laughs> <laughs> it's not super sweet right now. I think it's, it's definitely not as sweet as the Starbucks one, that's for sure.
I don't love it. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, I don't really love it. Okay, well, rate the coffee. Coffee, that bottle, two out of ten. Two coffee beans out of ten coffee beans. <laughs> we doing a coffee bean scale? Oh, of course. Maybe okay. Let me take another drink. Now there's. Did you put more sweetener in it? No, I just started a little bit more. Okay. The whipped cream. First, she's not meowing right now. So the whipped cream, I would give a seven out of ten. Seven whips out of ten whips. Seven <laughs> seven whips out of ten whips. Okay, because it is good. But I think that because it is so coconutty flavor, it is only going to be good if you like coconut or with things that are complementary to coconut, you know? Mm hmm It's a little bit better when I drink mostly whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> when I sip off the top mm, where it's like thick. This whipped cream is dumb. <laughs> this coffee flavored whipped cream is good. Yeah, but this, it tastes just like, <laughs> it tastes just like, uh, yeah, like you said, cold coffee is what it reminds me of, but like cold, really strong coffee. Like if someone who didn't know how to make coffee made coffee that day and then no one in the office wanted to drink it because it was bad. So then it went cold and then you forgot about it and you're like, full cup of coffee. Nice. Someone made a new cup and then you poured it. That's what this tastes like. <laughs> You look good today, baby. Thanks, babe. Okay, guys. So Spencer just left. He had to go to class tonight. And let me just show you this coffee. Because he said that he liked it and that he thought it was good. This bitch is full. Still full. I think that he was just doing it up. I don't think he really liked it that much. He said that his stomach started hurting, but real suspect. I have been eating chips and salsa for literally the whole day I can't stop eating it it's so good but look at my chips they're like all broken so I'm literally having to take these tiny little broken chips I can't tell if this angle is flattering or not flattering I guess it depends on how much I like slouch my shoulders you know uh, I don't have a whole lot left to do today this is pretty much it for the vlog All right, that's it. That's the vlog, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.